Hello YouTubers, this is MLB Trade Rumors North. i um, just going to give you guys a uh, overlook of all the Gaudi products that I've got over the last three years. Um, everything here is uh, my own personal collection. They've been bought from uh, these hobby boxes that you see below. Uh, nothing has been purchased online in completion. Um, just the random inserts that I have purchased online. The uh, base cards and the short prints were all made together from about 12 to 14 boxes of each product. The first one that you guys see here is the 2007 Gaudi. This one was the first one uh, released on the market. Um, as you can see that there is a 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth in the corner there and that's part of the uh, the buyback that uh, Gaudi offers. Uh, very rarely you'll get a buyback card in one of the packages. Um, this box, uh, hobby box, also came with 24 packages with 8 cards in them. Uh, later on, that would move to 18. So this is just a look at the hobby box itself. It's a little bit wider um, than the uh, newer two that are out, the 2008 and 2007. And I'm just going to give you guys a look at the uh, base set and the uh, short prints that I have. The first set that was uh, created had both a red and a green back. Um, I have both complete sets. Uh, I believe that they were out of 344 each. Um, so this is a look at the base set. As you can see, they're a little bit smaller than the uh, full-size cards that you guys get. Um, these are about three quarters the size of a uh, average uh, baseball card. Um, as you can see on here, the backs are red, and uh, each player. Uh, comes along. They're not really in team order like most of the sets now. It's very random. And they picked uh, again most like the elite players. This isn't like your uh, upper deck set where it has everything in it. So as you can see all these have the red back in them. So we'll flip to the green backs. As you can see these ones have uh, green. So this is again the same complete set except they have uh, green on the back and uh, the interesting part about the green is that um, they were actually the only set of the two to have uh, short prints so the short prints start at I believe 200 um, yep and that's here where you can see the uh, Michael Schmidt and then the Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken, Harmon, Hillenbrew, Reggie Jackson, uh, Johnny Bench and Carlton Fisk uh, these ones are pretty hard to get and they they go on um, for a bit some of the older players and some of the newer players as well kind of the uh, the rookies that were expected to be big are in here as well as some of the bigger players they have uh, two in the set um, the set also has a nice feature to it like some of the old cards from uh, 1933 it's the heads up if you notice on these backings here they're plain and uh, as they move along they did a second set uh, of the same card, but they have writing on the back. So they're, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice set. I really enjoy this set because uh, I'm pretty much into vintage cards. So uh, this gives you a little taste of the past. And uh, you can see here there's uh, Babe Ruth mixed along with some of the, uh, the newer guys. Albert Pujols and Joey Maurer. Uh, moving on next is the 2008. As you can see, the box changed a little bit. Uh, as Derek Jeter says, as you guys might know, the original had uh, Lou Gehrig. This one has um, Derek Jeter and Ken Griffey Jr. Now the uh, the cards have also changed a little bit in this set. Um, as you can see, they're uh, full size cards now. The backings on them have changed too, and uh, this set was only made. Um, with one type of back backing on it. Everything is green. They didn't give you an option for um, the red back. And in the set, uh, the base set itself, they, they have some of the older players in it, like there's Eddie Murphy and uh, <clears throat> Bobby Doerr. I don't know if you can see them that well. Sorry guys about the lighting. And uh, the base set goes on, and that's about uh, 200 cards in the base set. Now once you get to the um, the short prints, they have a uh, black backing on them. And uh, it's got, again, some of the bigger players. There's uh, Paul Molitor and Bo Jackson, Alkaline, Robin Young. 
It's a really nice set to have if you uh, like some of the older stuff and the newer stuff. And in this set too, they moved on to uh, presidential cards. So you have uh, a couple presidents in there. And it moves on to uh, sports royalty. Uh, sports royalty in this uh, set also has two different types. Um, these ones look similar to sports royalty that were in the 07, except the 07 were smaller and they were given away as a uh, box topper. So you only got one a box as opposed to three or four a uh, hobby box. Um, they're worth a little bit more money because of that and uh, I'll show you guys some in a bit. So that's that set there. It's uh, pretty much complete. I think I'm missing two from this set. And then uh, we'll move on to this year's. This is the uh, 2009 Gaudi Baseball. The uh, box looks very similar to that of uh, the 2008. Uh, both are far off from the 7. Um, these cards again, they've made them full size. Um, but the backgrounds don't really have anything in them. They've just uh, been plain bordered. And uh, they don't say Ken Griffey Jr. or Derek Jeter says in them. And again, they have a uh, 200 base card set. And then they move on to the short prints. The short prints this time are in green, just like the base set, so there's nothing really special there. Uh, the sports royalty, again, are uh, a little bit harder to find than in uh, last year's. And they don't have any presidential, so it's just the short print um, that are there. And these ones, again, have the, uh, the writing on the back. Very nice card. Um, from the set, I'll show you guys the uh, the ones that are pretty much sought after in the sets, and that's the uh, the Tiger Woods. <clears throat> this one again was uh, the Sports Royalty, as you can see the size difference, and this would have been a box topper. Um, it's very very hard to get the the, the Woods in uh, the 07 and the 08. This one is the 08, and the 09 is a little bit easier to get. Um, you can pretty much find that on eBay. And then uh, the uh, Sidney Crosby as well. That one's a little bit harder to get. And then, uh, as I was telling you guys, there's a buyback handed in some of them. So this is what the uh, buyback would have looked like. It would have uh, been in just a plastic uh, wrap. And then uh, on the other side of it would have been an original uh, 1933 or um, any Gaudi baseball card. So that is an original there. Uh, moving on to some of the bigger stuff, um, a little bit harder to get, and this is why I say my collection's uh, probably the biggest out of any that I've seen. <clears throat> these are the uh, Gaudi graphs. Uh, these are actually on card. These are not a sticker, so uh, very appealing. Um, I've got uh, quite a few of these, and uh, they also made uh, the jerseys that are in the form of the G, and these ones are pretty... Uh, pretty hard to get a hold of as well uh, to complete the set. I believe in um, this set both the autograph and the jersey I'm missing about uh, maybe three. This set also had something very exclusive like the Tiger Woods it's the uh, the box toppers um, I think the sets out of 34 or 40 pretty hard to get a hold of. Some of them as you can see have uh, autographs on them. There's my boy Roy uh, these are worth a little bit more than uh, than these ones here, the Peyton Manning and the uh, even the Hanley Ramirez is autoed. So I have a few, three or four of them that are autographed, and the rest of them are uh, just the regular ones. And I do have these ones as well without the autograph on them. And uh, yeah, I've got the complete set. I think it goes for about uh, twelve hundred dollars. Last time I looked, it's got uh, baseball, swimming, uh, basketball. Uh, pool, and that's that complete set there against the uh, Gawa and uh, Morneau, the Mir uh, the Ramirez, not autoed, and uh, those are from the 2007. These are also from the 2007. These are the Immortals. A little bit harder to get. I think you one every 12 cases has one. So I've got a few of those. There's another buyback up there. Hopefully you guys can see it. And 